tricky upper jab. Slide through the hands there. Follows up with the right hand. Walker lost his last fight in the finals of Road to Glory via low kick to Mike Lemaire, who was the champion that night. And Wakeling, to no surprise, is going right after that front leg. Yeah, Walker's got to learn to check those kicks better. You know, it's something the American guys are a little bit behind on. The Dutch and the, and the Ties are way ahead of them. But Walker's getting there. He's checking them now. I'm sure they drilled on that uh, quite a bit, but that one hurt. That one landed. Walker is a huge underdog for this fight. In fact, no one thinks he's going to win. He's been getting Twitter predictions of the round he's going to lose in all week. He's been retweeting them. Says it gives him some motivation. He's going to need some motivation because right now he's getting a lot of pastry across his face and his leg. I think Walker has got to do something to stop the forward momentum of Wakeling. Yeah. Because Wakeling at a distance is just making this into a, a, a vision of Thai boxing brutality. That low kick hurt. Uh, Wakeling is fine in Thailand. Quite a few times. Walker's turning the leg the wrong way on the check. You know what? This fight. It's almost over. You know, that, that leg has got to be hurting. He's got to be having a flashback to February 9th. Well, Wakeling's just going to keep kicking it and then cutting the other one. Problem is, if Walker moves in and tries to throw the right hand, he plants that left foot to land it. And he's open for the low kick. Clutching up, there's a tip of the knee right on the chin, uh, Walker. The problem with that outside leg catch of the low kick is you, you absorb the kick. It all hurts. Yeah. Wakely pulling the head down. Not sure if we can actually do that. They have a three-second clinch rule, which is a technical rule. Hey, Glory. opportunity before the clinch happens. But you know what? Oh, uh, he's done. You know, this fight is probably done. Done. You've been hitting the leg with a baseball bat yeah. 20 times. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do. Six, seven, this is the kind of deja vu. Kick. This is the kind of deja vu that Eddie Walker didn't want and he wakes and lands another knee right to the head. Yeah, one knockdown and complete domination in that round. That's a 10 8 round for Stephen the Surgeon Wakeling. Yeah, basically, he got saved by the bell on that one because his leg kicks were just chopping him down. And every other one is landing and putting that cut kick right there. Wakeling just really having the advantage and understanding of kicks right here. You see him cover with a punch, and as soon as he's covered, he throws that kick again. Runs inside, trip kick, cut kick. Just staying on relentless. And Walker just doesn't know how to put his knee in the right position. You said it right, Steve. He's blocking it wrong. He's turning his body instead of stopping that power. Yeah, he's got to aim the knee at the oncoming ship. And yeah, there's the one that's just, ow! Ah, it's such a troubling. But knowing how to check a kick and being instinctively good at it is two different things. Yeah. Because the tiny thing that a really good Muay Thai fighter for so Stephen Wakeman, who got a 10-8 round in that, he's going to know how to fake and then low kick. He's not going to say, here comes a low kick and then... Please check it for me. He's going to try and make it as tricky as possible. He did that all round long. Dominated that first round with low kicks. Stephen Wakeling in the red gloves. Wakeling now going to the body and back to the leg. Walker has switched to softball to protect that back leg. Oh, uh, uh, Wakeling found it. I think That's this, two knockdowns. I think that I, I, I don't see how he could. And you can't even stand on that leg. Six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Referee Hugo Beta is going to make him step, step out there. Yeah, this is uh, a big problem. Yeah, his leg's chopped up. When you find a weakness in a fighter, you keep going there. Switch his stance again. Let's see if it helps. I wouldn't be surprised if Wakeling goes high with a head kick, though. 
You should, because he's chopping him down. And Walker's thinking so much about that low kick. The Wakeling could score, score a fantastic head kick knockout if he has one in his tricks. Walker jumps back in, tries to land a kick to the body, and they clinch. Thank you. 